Hi guys, it's Monica. I want to share with you a couple of things today. First of all, I want to talk about my hair. What do you think of it? Isn't it awesome? And the next thing I want to talk about is my eyelashes. And I'm going to have a little bit of a giveaway at the end of the video. So if you're interested in hair and eyelashes and the giveaway, make sure you watch the entire video. I will try to be brief. No guarantees. First of all, let me just talk to you about my hair. This is the editor's pick. This is a Raquel Welch editor's pick in shaded cappuccino. This is probably a darker color than you guys are used to. It's, it's very close to my natural hair, although um, more highlights because this the the brown has a lot more highlights in here where my color that you usually see me in is more all over you know with fewer highlights but I'm going to just show you the color hopefully that'll pick up so it's the Raquel Welch it is the editor's pick and the color is shaded cappuccino I totally love this color. So when I came home this week, I saw this big box sitting on my doorstep. And I knew immediately, I recognized the box immediately. I knew immediately what it was because my flirt alert from Raquel Welch came in the same box. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. Because Haley from wigs.com had contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing another one of their wigs. And of course, that was a no-brainer for me. I was absolutely honored that they reached out and asked me. They did give me a budget, and they, I mean, super, Haley is super easy to work with. She's just absolutely a wonderful, wonderful, I think, liaison for, for me anyways, and I'm sure for anyone that would be working with her. Anyway, she gave me a budget. I went through the budget, and I said, you know, I've had my eyeball on editor's pick for a really long time. I would love to do the editor's pick. And um, I'm debating between the shade that I have in the, I think it's shaded wheat, the one that I have in uh, my Florida Alert and shaded cappuccino, which is, has been attracting me for a long time. And um, she said, you know, shaded cappuccino is a beautiful shade. And so we talked back and forth. She said, let's, you know, if you want it, go for it. So I ordered the, the editor's pick in shaded cappuccino. Let me turn around a little bit. I feel like, like a, you know, like if you ever watched Taz's Wig Closet or even Nisha Sugar Puff and Fluff when they re review their wigs and all that and they, they shake and they show you how the movement, I sort of kind of feel like that. Of course, not on that scale at all, but I just wanted you to see it. So anyways, I got all excited. She said that they would send it to me and then she contacted me back and said, oh, she said, I hate to tell you this, but the color is on back order. If you want to pick another color, we can send it out to you right away. And I said to her, no, 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 I'll wait, I'll wait. So she said it was going to be on back order until the 15th of April. And uh, then she, about a week and a half ago, she reached out to me and she said, it's in, we're going to ship it. And I got it this past week and I was like, oh my gosh, I was so happy. I, I will tell you, I really, really love this wig. Now this is a heat the the heat defiant and i'm going to show you a little bit of when i opened up the box so you can see i'm going to have the clip over over there i was so excited when i opened the package up reading the little card reading the personal note and then opening the box oh my gosh and i just couldn't wait to see the color and even in the box, inside out, the color, you could just see how fabulous it really was. It is amazing. The highlights, the wig is just absolutely gorgeous. I truly, truly in love with it. For me to say I love this gift is an understatement. It really is. I am over the moon in love with this wig. I really am. It feels so wonderfully natural on me. Yes, it's a bit more volume than maybe the Florida Alert, but I think, I keep looking into my mirror over here, I think it looks really great. In the packaging, there's a little kind of a, a puff, and this is like little powder if you feel your wig's a little bit too shiny. You can put this on. This is a free gift from wigs.com. 
and it just kind of can take down a little bit of the shine for you. I also got a little cosmetic bag or a bag to hold some of my brushes. This would be actually a perfect bag to hold some of my cosmetic brushes. And I got a, this is sort of a mesh bag, which I really like. I mean, this, I'm not too sure exactly what I would put in here yet when I travel, but I think this would be perfect even for hair brushes, hair accessories, things of that nature, and even some of my little hair pieces that I travel with my fake buns and stuff like that would be really great to put in there. So that said, I am, I am like super thrilled with this. I really am. Can you tell? So let me know what do you think? Oh, and I also got a brush. They sent this really nice little brush for, you know, that you can use. And you have to be really careful with these heat defiant wigs because they're, they're delicate in a way. They're, you know, I mean, when you have the synthetic fiber, they're probably a little bit more durable, but the trade-off is a very realistic look, feel, and flow, I think, to this wig. So, yeah, I'm definitely in love. <laughs> I am definitely in love. Thank you so much, wigs.com. When I take this off, I'll show you the inside, the cap. It does have a slight permatease, so it does have some little fullness up here. I can part this on either side, The and I'm gonna pull up close so you can kind of maybe see the, um, the lace front is really awesome. I mean, and, the, and I've heard some people say these bangs were a little bit, you know, different for some people, but I actually like these little bangs. And I like the fact that I could even go on either side if I really wanted to wear it, move it around. You know, because of the monofilament and the lace front, the, it actually sits beautifully. I mean, it just sits beautifully, you know, absolutely beautiful. So I, and it's, very secure. This is an average fit. I think this is the average. Shady Cappuccino average editor's pick. Yeah, I think it's just really beautiful. So the other thing I wanted to mention to you twofold is my eyelashes. I don't know if you can see my eyelashes. But many of you know that I have been using the Blink Eyelash Serum for quite a while. I stopped using it in February, right around the time that I was contacted by City Beauty. Now City Beauty sent me a beautiful PR package with lippies, with a sculpting cream, with these amazing, amazing face masks that I absolutely love. Out of the, out of all the city, I mean, out of all of the face masks that I have used, I must tell you, I love this one the best. Let me get it for you. This is my last one. I think this face mask is awesome. It is when I use this, I mean, yes, City Beauty sent me all this. This is part of a PR package. But if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you I didn't like it or I'm not going to talk about it. But if I talk about something, it's because I like it. Now, when City Beauty sent this PR package, there was no strings attached. There was no requirement that I do a video. There was no requirement that I promote it on Instagram. Of course, that's what they want. They want you to do that. I mean, it's a PR package, right? I mean, it, it's, it bears to, it's reasonable that they would want that. But there was no requirement. So I have to tell you, this Hydro Mask, I'm in love with this Hydro Mask. This is a really super, super nice Hydro Mask. I love it a lot. So this came from City Beauty along with several of the lippies. I think I have a lot of them standing right here. You have several of these lippies all from, from City Beauty, and I got a, um, I got the cream. What else did I get? I think I just got the next sculpting cream. Anyways, I really enjoy the masks a lot, and I have really enjoyed, and you guys can read the reviews on the City Lash, uh, you know, if you want. I, it's got some sort of peptides in it. It is really a beautiful, beautiful lash serum. I used, when I stopped using the Blink, because I, I do believe that after a while, your skin, your hair, your eyelashes, you get so used to something, it may not be as effective as it normally is. So I, just like last year, stopped using my Capro, stopped using my Blink for about two months. And I tried other eyelash serums in, that, in the interim, and I did not 
did not find anything I liked. So this year when I stopped, at the same time City Beauty had sent me this and it just was a coincidence. So I said, okay. So I stopped using my Blink because I wanted to give it a rest and I started using this. I use this every night and every morning. And one of the things that I noticed on this was I thought that my eyelashes were curling more than normal. I do not use an eyelash curler. The thought of an eyelash curler just totally grosses me out. I'm sorry, you know, anyone that loves them, I, I just, I cannot use an eyelash curl, or, nor can I watch someone use an eyelash curler, no way. So I started using this and I noticed that my lashes seemed to curl more. And even though I wasn't using the blank, I wasn't having any fallout. It was containing my fallout. Now your lashes go in cycles. You're gonna lose lashes and have new regrowth. It is a cycle. Nothing is going to stop that from happening. It's just the way it happens. With this, I noticed that the fallout after stopping the Care Pros for the two months was very minimal. And I noticed that my lashes were staying, when I don't put any mascara on, my lashes were nice and conditioned. They felt really, really, really super good. I really like them. I thought this was really good. It's pricey. I believe when it's not on sale, and there's usually sales. I think it's like 70 some odd dollars when it's not on sale. But one of these I think would last you at least an easy three months. So as an alternative, I think it's a great alternative. So now what I'm doing is I'm back on my blink because I want my lashes to continue. It's not so much that I want them to get longer. I want them to get thicker. I want them to continue to have the thickness. And this did really good for conditioning, for minimizing the fallout, for making my lashes feel lush and long. But this is gonna give me the additional regrowth and the thickness. So I'm using, I'm back on my blink because I'd been off it for almost two months. So I'm back on my blink and I'm using this every single night. And I do the same thing, one drop inside the little lid here with the brush and I use it like an eyeliner on my lids. And with this, it is in a tube and it's like a little pointy thing. And I just use this in the morning. So I'm using the City Lash in the morning and I'm using the Blink at night. So far, my eyelashes are doing fabulous absolutely fabulous i really love i love my eyelashes they're doing they're doing fantastic so let's talk mascara i use a primer every day and i have several different primers that i've used high end to low end my primer of choice that i really really like for my eyelashes is the essence volume booster lash serum this is my eyelash primer in the morning i put this on i let my eyelashes dry and then i start with one of my mascaras now i have had several high-end mascaras sent to me free in exchange or complimentary i should say in exchange for a review via the octili network and some of them i've bought so out of the mascaras that I really, really like, my high end has been the It Cosmetics because it's nice and it's a wet mascara. It can dry out, it can get lumpy. You have to be really careful with this, but I do like the lashes it gives me. My drugstore preference, and I'm all out so I don't have it to show you, is I really, really like the Essence Lash, is it, what is the lash? Uh, in purple. It is the black and purple tube and I like that one a lot. So high end it cosmetics the essence. Now I have been, I, I was fortunate enough to receive a PR package from Sigma and to be sort of an affiliate with them, meaning that they send me stuff and I have discount codes and all that. They also sent me a number of brushes and things of that nature. And one of the things that they sent me was a mascara. And so I'm a mascara queen. So now this mascara is kind of like, it may be hard, I actually don't think it's hard, but it may be hard for some people to come out. I absolutely love this brush. The thing with this mascara is, it takes a bit of manipulation, meaning I have to do a few coats to really get it to show on my lashes. But once it starts to grab and show on my lashes, it's like a wow for me. I have never had, I've worn this probably, I don't know, six or seven days in a row. I've never had any flakies, I've never had any clumps, I've never had any ugly looking lashes with this at all. Where sometimes with my it, I have to go through with a, a little fine comb just to get out some of the, the lumps at times. 
it's just the nature of the beast. My Sigma mascara, I really like it a lot. But that's me. Yes, it's hard to get out. Yes, it has a very fine brush, but I like that. So I think that's pretty cool. The other couple of lashes that I'm really liking a lot, and I know I'm going to butcher the name, one is the um, Kevin it's the Kevin Con. You can see this is a little bit messed up because I use it a lot. So in the morning, and I even like this brush. This was sent to me for review. I like it a lot. It lasts. It looks really good on my lashes. And other one that was sent to me, and I, I, I want to say out of all the ones that have been sent to me recently, including the Sigma, the one that I like the best out of all the high end that has been sent to me. Now, granted, I didn't pay anything. I've got the Grandy Lash. I've got the Kevin Acon. I've got the Sigma. Um, I have a few others. They're just not here. The one I like the best is the YSL. The Shock. I really like the YSL mascara the best. I like it better than my It Cosmetics. I like it better than my Essence in Purple. So if I was going to spend a lot of money on a mascara, which I probably wouldn't, I'd buy this. If money were no object and I wasn't concerned and I really wanted to have a good, solid, beautiful, beautiful, no fail mascara, I'd buy this. I also have this in blue. Now, um, I've worn the blue a couple of times and it's really pretty. It made me go right back to my teenage years to have blue mascara, but I really like this a lot. So my IT Cosmetics Superhero, now I buy this, it was Mary Ellen who first turned me on to buying it through the QVC. So I do buy it through QVC and sometimes I wonder if it comes back out dry a little bit because sometimes when I open the first one it feels a little dry. So I normally take a little bit, a tiny, tiny, tiny drop of black castor oil and I put it in my mascara. I've done it to almost all my mascaras after a while if they dry. I'm trying not to open any new mascaras at this point at all because I want to empty the four that I am working on, actually the five, I can't count, the five that I have open that I'm working on. So all the rest, I'm not going to open and touch. But I wanted to let you know what I was doing for my eyes, my, my uh, eyelashes, I am back using the Blink. And I love the Blink. And I know that the ordering process for the Blink can be difficult. It is the exact same thing as CarePost. If you prefer to buy CarePost and you want to use it, go right ahead. I understand there's some controversy about this. This is a, a medicine and it is something that has had side effects in certain people. So to some people, their, uh, their blue eyes turn brown or have specks and there are other specks and there's some redness and irritation. I've been very, very fortunate to not have any redness or any irritation at all the entire time I've been using this. So I'm really liking this a lot. That said, I have one giveaway. If you're still here at the end, I'm going to give away two bottles of Blink. And one of these bottles of Blink has an expiration date of July. The next one is an much further out. So it's going to be up to you whether or not you want to use something beyond the expiration date. So one has a July 2019 expiration date. It doesn't bother me. I've used my Retin-A beyond the expiration date, but that's me, that's my skin. I'm not telling you what to do, how to do it, or if you should do it. The other one, the expiration date's much later, so there's no worry. So two bottles of Blink for someone who really wants it. You know, say you want to try it and enter the giveaway. You have to be subscribed. You have to let me know that you want the Blink, and you have to tell me what do you think of my editor's pick? Do you like this or what? I love it. I really do. <laughs> so thanks so much guys for bearing with me today and my excitement on my wig.